Today is a speed deadlift session and I'm using my open barbell velocity measuring device. I'll put a description of what it is in the comment box so you can know, learn more about it. My first set was with 135. The speed was good because it was light. I then moved to 225. Of course the speed was still good because it was still light. Showing you how I set up for the deadlift. Get some reps in. Now this is when I start noticing some problems with my deadlift. The speed was fast off the floor, but it was breaking down at the knees. And that's where I was getting pretty slow. So maybe I need to work on my lockout a little bit more. My lockout's strong, but I need to be faster at it. So after doing sets of deadlift, I moved on to reverse hyper. And I did a four sets of 10. This is a great exercise for the lower back and hamstrings and glutes, of course. Nice decompression of the spine. Then it was time to move on to upper back and I did incline dumbbell rows. I like these because they take the lower back out of the exercise. I can actually work my upper back without, you know, concentrating on straining my lower back. And that's one of the things I don't like so much about the barbell row is I feel like it's more of a static position that I'm holding to try to do rows, but I'm mostly feeling it in my lower back. And um, I do feel it in my lats, but lower back for maintaining that stiff position. Then I did chins. I did a couple of sets of max reps, making sure that when I do these sets, I would actually switch my hand position for each set. I need to do these more, incidentally, or at least every other week. Then I followed that with close grip pull downs. And I did several sets of these. Increasing the weight each set. I found that pull downs really do help my bench press as, long as, as well as chins. And they also help my deadlift because I use a lot of lats in doing the deadlift. Thank you for watching.